Houston is turning the corner, but as you can see just behind me, there are still so many rain-soaked neighborhoods, and now new dangers are emerging. Take a look at this. Extreme flooding and dramatic new rescues east of here. The sky filled with helicopters. An explosion and fire in a flooded chemical plant. The company expecting more to come. A hospital with no water and running out of supplies. All of the patients there evacuated. And as the floodwaters recede in some neighborhoods and families are coming back, a new assessment tonight. As many as 100,000 homes damaged by the storm. And tonight, clearly, Harvey isn't done yet. ABC's Matt Gutman with some of the storm's latest victims in Beaumont tonight. Tonight, from the air, Beaumont and Port Arthur, Texas, the hardest hit by Harvey, besieged by water. The sky swarming with helicopters. It's the only way in. The U.S. Coast Guard hammering through a roof to get families out. Some 200 patients on stretchers evacuated by helicopter at Baptist Beaumont Hospital after the local water supply failed. And nearby Port Arthur, a nursing home submerged. Teams evacuating the most critical patients, lifting entire beds into boats. This morning, we teamed up with the U.S. Navy aboard a Navy search and rescue chopper, and we survey the water world below. Then an urgent call. A nearby dam is about to overflow. We touch down at Pine Forest Elementary, just a few towns over from Beaumont. The first thing we see, people weeping, hands clutched over mouths. Apparently there are a lot of people in this school. We're still unclear what's going on. All of them have stranded, congregating here because this is one of the few dry areas around here. There's basically nowhere for them to go but up. Time is short. We jog in with the Navy rescuers, people everywhere. Until just right now, now, this was a shelter. The little they brought in, in those bags. We now need. they're ordered to hurry. All right, they can take Just even take less. Your medicine. We're okay. We're okay. We help them to scramble together their essential belongings while they hold back tears. Right. With other rescuers carrying out dogs, okay, we help this what, family what, take what, what it can. There are probably about 50, maybe 100 people here, all of them trying to evacuate. Pretty much nowhere for people to go here. They're taking their dogs, their medicine, their phones, whatever they can. 14 members of the Smith and Mitchell families plus four dogs pile in. These are just a few of the thousands that have needed rescue over the past few days as Harvey continues to wreak havoc. That Navy rescue crew comforting the families, frightened and shocked by their sudden displacement. The family grateful to have each other. Right now we're taking them to another shelter. It is in a drier area, higher ground where they're going to be safe. They're dropped off near a shelter. We unload the dogs and few possessions, rushing them away from the helicopter where they thank their rescuers with hugs. Then it's a sprint back to the helicopter. And such an incredible rescue effort right there. Matt Gutman joins us live from Beaumont, Texas. And Matt, tonight, as those first responders help to get all those families to dry land and into shelters, there are now new and major concerns over the city's water supply. That's right, Tom. Check out. This is the Natchez River. It is not forecast to crest until tomorrow at seven feet above the record. And water is everywhere, but not a drop to drink. That water supply you mentioned shut off citywide. And the lone operating hospital here saying it might have to shut down in 48 hours. They are already evacuating shelters here. One official telling me she simply doesn't know where to put these people. Tom. 48 hours. Matt Gutman with the crisis in Beaumont tonight. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.